Hello, and welcome to another video. Uh, I'm going to talk today about making money in the auction house. I still get some questions on this, and I want to talk about how to make money more efficiently. Uh, so efficiently meaning doing it in a relatively short period of time. Because some of the questions people come up with is, well, I watched what you did, but it took me a long time to do to make, you know, and then I wasn't making a lot of money. I don't see how that works well, Phil. So this is kind of a, a follow-up to my prior video. If you haven't seen my prior two videos about how to make money, you should really watch those first. But if you watch those and you want to hone in and make it more efficient, this is a this is a good way to go. Uh, watch this video. Now, the first step is to buy recipes on the cheap, as I've mentioned before. And part of being efficient means not always being in a rush to do it right away. I know that almost sounds like a contradiction there, but your time is important. So sitting here and farting around with a ton of different uh, auctions to get your formulas in to begin with uh, can take up a lot of time. Uh, generally speaking, what I tend to do is I will usually have a whole bunch of bids out here like this for various recipes at you know cheap prices. And one day I'll log in and some of these will roll in. And I just let them roll in over time. And then on the weekend or something, and I'll, I'll do 20 or 30 of these at once. But I didn't spend a lot of time farting around in the auction house trying to find uh, these cheap recipes. But, uh, uh, and, 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 and again, we're looking for, for those who haven't watched the prayer videos, we're looking for level 31 uncommon yellow recipes that don't require any sort of rare reagents, the orange reagents that cost 400, 500,000. You want to avoid those. There's only a few. Uh, un, uncommon recipes that require rare reagents. But basically, you're looking for recipes around, you know, 50,000 uh, and, and see how many of those you can find. And, and, and if, right in this case, there's a whole bunch for sale, but none of them are biting. Just leave that bid out there for a bit. Come back to it after the weekend or so and go off and play the game. But uh, because we're trying to make a, a video here, uh, we'll do a little bit more than that. Let's see if we can find something from one of these guys if we put some bigger bids out there. So we'll try to get uh, 10 of something here. If I put some good money out there, maybe not. We might have to go up to 200,000, which is, which is fine. I'm still going to make money off of 200,000. But usually, again, I just leave my bids out there for 50,000, and I make money that way. So we'll put out there for 200,000, and you can see we just got 10 just like that. So go ahead and grab those. And the reason why this is efficient is we we're going to do these 10 at a time. You can do these 20 at a time, 30 at a time. I wouldn't do too many more than, than 30 because it gets boring. Uh, now we need to grab 10 of each reagent. And we can do that just by uh, uh, looking for the recipe here. Hit search for salvage. It tells you what the salvage is. And then we're going to get 10 of each of these here. Uh, that might actually not be enough to get me 10 because I just put in 111. Let's put in 555. Five, five. Oops. Don't do too many fives. You can pay too much for stuff. And just put in that you want 10 of each of these. It's really kind of simple. Actually, I only need nine ancient bones. Uh, and then your data drives. And just, you know, buy what you need really quick. And because we're buying in bulk and we're doing this, and you can see we're doing this really quick. And then we just go create 10 times in a row like this. So this is much faster than if I had 10 separate recipes and I crafted all 10 of them and had to find the regions for all 10 of them. It really is just much, much faster to sell all of those recipes. Any recipes I get that aren't orange or purple, I sell them all to the vendor, to the NPC vendor. And this is why when I want to make money, I just, I usually get them from these um, bids that I have sitting out there for a while. And I come in one day and I just go through and I clean house and I convert them. So if you watch my other video, you kind of know how this is going to go. We're going to take each one of these and we're going to convert them into a rare by using the same category. Now, this is one of those things that, again, is faster because we're doing it in bulk. All we have to do is keep dragging this up, go like this, and convert each of these to a, to a, to a fear. Okay. And if you watch my first video again, I'm going to keep referencing that because I go through this a little bit slower. But the whole point is you're going to convert each one of these into the same family, the same category of fear. And this works for a lot of other categories as well. Uh, did this with flying the other day. Doesn't have to be fear. There's a lot of other categories you can play with. 
However, some categories are like 100% conversion, some are 80, and some are not. So getting to know the sets will be very helpful. So you see I've converted all of these to Glimpse of the Abyss, which is a rare. And now I'm going to convert each of these uh, to uh, another rare. Because a Glimpse of the Abyss is a rare. Now this is worth, it's saying about 1 million. But there's not a lot of people buying Glimpse of the Abyss. Um, I can sell this for a million. I can sell it for 800,000, let's say, um, and still make a profit because I bought those recipes for 200,000. I spent two converters, which is worth 130 total. So 330 I've spent so far. If I made 800, I'll put that up there. I still make a profit, but I'm going to make more money than that. So I'm going to convert each of these into a different rare. And you can see there I got luck of the gambler, which is always good luck. We're just going to convert all these real quick. And now I'm going to check the prices on all these to see if they're worth uh, selling. So this time, space of manipulation, it has pretty good demand, pretty good supply. I could probably do better than that one, so I'm not going to sell that. But this luck of the gambler, that's good money right there. 2.7 million. There's a lot of these for sale. So uh, the demand and the sale, the, the number of bids and the number for sale are pretty even. So I'm going to sell this for a, a lower than the going price, so I make sure it sells. But we'll go ahead and sell that for two million and change. Hit post, and it sold right away for two point seven million. So just like that, just to recap, I spent two hundred thousand on that recipe. I spent three converters on this, which comes out to two hundred thousand more. So I've spent four hundred thousand, and I made two point seven million minus one seventy in fees. So I've made well over two million boys and girls just that fast. I still have more of these to go through. Healing Absorb, not a lot of volume on this, but it's generally a good selling item. Uh, not, I, mean, I should say not a lot of bids for the number of for sale on here. So I'm gonna sell this cheaper than normal because I wanna make sure it moves. But at 1.2 million, and that will sell, uh, I'll do pretty good on here. We have a Mako's Bite. Uh, those are kind of weak. So we're gonna keep that and re-roll this. Agus Resistance, I buy these all the time for my characters. They're very popular. A lot of bids in here, not a lot for sale. This can go in at a pretty high price. I'm going to put it 1.8 million. And and that will sell. Got Unbreakable Guard here, another really great one we got here. So we're seeing that I'm getting multiple pieces here that are worth 2 million with good number of bids versus number for sale. So there's going to be no problem getting the money back on that and then a healthy profit on top of it. Now this flying one, they don't go for a lot. We'll reroll that. Uh, bombardment, pretty decent one. There's a lot of these for sale though, and they're going for 1.5 million. So for that to move, I'm going to have to list it for like 1.1 million. Put it well underneath the amount that's here, but that will move. At 1.1 million, I'm still making a profit, right? So not a problem. And if I wasn't talking, I could go through these faster. I'm not going to do warp range because uh, there's not a lot bidding for it. Now, out of the 10 that I made, there are four of them that I need to reroll. Sometimes this is two, sometimes four, sometimes it's six. It, it just kind of depends. But again, we just convert all four of these real fast. We see what we get. And then we quickly check prices. And you just kind of go through this process again and again. And and you kind of see what you get. And these so far aren't all that great. So we're going to have rerolling again. Nope, nothing good there. But reactive defenses, that's really good. That's really good. That's that's two million easily. So I'll go ahead and post that pretty low there because I wanted to move. And we'll get that. We'll get that going. So I have three left here to re-roll. And it always helps to have hundreds of converters in stock, by the way. Um this one, Malaise Illusion, kind of kind of okay, but I could do better. Uh, stupefy, kind of weak, 95, 95 bidding, 40 for sale. It'll move. It'll probably move for a million. So I'll do a 10% under a million and wait for that to sell. I like the fact that it has like not a lot of supply there is what appeals to me. So like the number of people bidding it was much higher. We have another bombardment here. So we're going to keep re-rolling these last two. Sometimes these can be a little stubborn. The last thing of the Zephyr knockback reduction is actually pretty popular. There's a lot of these for sale. There's a lot of people bidding for it. I'm going to put it in at 
one, three million. Just going underneath the, the average I see there to make sure that it moves. I'll reroll this last guy again. He's kind of like your stubborn holdout. And might take a couple here to get him good. Touch of the Nectus. Good, but not great. Ice Minstrel's Torment, also not a good one. So you can see I'm kind of burning a lot of covers on this last one, but you know what's worth it? I stuck with it. I got a Decimation that's worth well over two million. So that's how I could do them fast, uh, just like that. I posted a whole bunch. If I come in here and check in here by the end of the night, over half of these will have sold. And I showed this to the other guys. I posted this in our Discord server. I showed them, I listed a whole bunch and how half of them had sold before the end of the night and another quarter of them has sold. Uh, and here's some more money right there. And I'll make profit off of every single one of those. Every single one. So again, to just to recap, uh, I bought a whole bunch for 200000 which is well more than what I normally pay for because normally I just wait for the recipes to come in at a discount. But um, I still made a lot of money. 200000 I converted all of them uh, with three converters, two for the first one to make them into a rare, and then one to make them into a different rare. So all of them had at least three converters spent. Some of them I ended up spending four or five. That last one must have spent 10 converters on, which 10 converters run you 600, 700,000. Yet despite that one being 600, 700,000 plus 200,000 for the recipe and a little bit for the ingredients, I paid no more than 1 million for that last one, and I made over 2 million on it. And then there was a lot of ones I didn't spend anywhere near 10 converters on, and I made 1 million, 2 million, you know, and at luck of the gambler, I made, will make 3, 4 million on. So that's how easily this system works. Now I'm going to do, uh, I pretty much have gone every, through everything here on the video, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one more go around here just for kicks and giggles and grins and the such. I'm going to go through one more. And I'm gonna go for one more round. And I'm gonna see if I can find a nice juicy recipe here. Let's try sleep. Been a while since I played with sleep. Okay. Again, I usually put a bunch in here. I usually wait for them to come in, but I'm gonna go pretty high on this, see if I can get a whole bunch for 200. That will do 200,000 again, and just see if I can get 10 real quick. And it, oops, looks like sleep is not going to go easy. Now we saw a whole bunch sold for 40,000 here in history. If I keep a standing bed in there for 50,000, those will show up later. And that's exactly what I'm going to do so I can get those later. Uh, but for purposes of this video, I want to get something now. And I'd rather keep it to around 200,000 if I can. And we're looking for something that has uh, quite a bit in, in its... Uh, inventory there we need something with lots of lots of inventory see these only have like 30 for sale Ooh, here we go 233 for sale. how do you end up with 233 of these guys who knows let's see if we can do anything good with these there we go i got some of these coming in right here 50,000 four okay to get the rest i want to get a, a set of 10 here so let me try getting some more there it's kind of interesting how some of these are listed for 50,000, but nothing's listed for 100,000. That's just really weird to me. Alrighty, I'm getting... There we go. For 150,000, I'm getting three more. <laughs> uh, I just... I want 10, so... Let me see if I can get three more here. Alright, so there's three more. Alright. I'm going to cancel my last few higher bids on that guy. I'm going to keep the rest of these in here, though, because uh, I'll use those in the future. All right. So let's start the clock. I wish I had a clock to put up on the screen, but I don't. But we're 14 minutes into the video, so we're going to use that 14 minutes. And we're going to grab all these out and start crafting. This is just kind of give you an idea of how long this takes if I'm not uh, talking all my way through it so much uh, each step of the way. Whoops. I did not mean to close the auction house. What I meant to do is open up the crafting table. So again, we can see we have 10 of these guys in here. Just pull one over, hit find, look at the salvage. I have none of this salvage, so I need 10 pieces of each. So I'll grab a hold of those. Oops. Grab a bunch of those. And grab a bunch of those. And there we go, we got 10 of those. 
The weapons are kind of coming in slowly there, but they'll come in. Hurry up, the clock is ticking. So again, we start at 14 minutes. Gonna craft 10 of these. Now slow can be interesting because you're not guaranteed it's gonna convert into a rare with slow. So we come up here, we hit category slow. We get the ice mistral, which is uh, a rare. You can move it up here and you can see it's a rare because now it says category rare. If I move this one up here, it says category uncommon. So if you're uh, if you're not for sure if something is a rare or not, just bring it up here. You can see that that just converted to another uncommon. So that's most unfortunate. Um, oh, that's because I converted it into another uh, a different category altogether. I kind of slipped up there. Uh, that's okay. We'll just convert that into a different endurance modification there. Sometimes when you're going a little fast, you can make mistakes. It is a thing. Make sure those are rare. So all the slow so far that I keep in slow and use two converters on are converting into rare no problem. It's not 100%, but with slow, it usually works in your favor because there are a lot of rares in slow. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of rares here. Now we're going to roll these into other rares because slow rares, last time I checked, slow rares don't well, don't really sell. For that. I mean, it sells for a good price, but there's not a lot of volume selling. So we're going to we're going to sell all we're going to change all of these slows uh, into something else. Again, we're going to do this really quick. Again, we started at the 14 minute mark. We'll see where we're at at the end of this. Now, the more you do this, the more you'll start to recognize what some of these things are. And because we just did fair, we know that Glimpse of the Abyss is not a really good selling set, so we'll go ahead and re-roll that into something else. Just to be uh, quick on that one. We'll check the prices on what we have now. Uh, that one's kind of poor. I'm not going to talk through this because, again, I'm kind of on the clock, so I'm going to try to see what I can do to kind of... Because I'm trying to see just how fast I can get these guys to go. Power transfer, that's usually a decent one. Good volume on that guy. That will, in fact, move. So we'll post that at 1.2. Mako's Bite. Eh, I'm not the biggest fan of Mako's Bite, I'll be honest. This one should be good because of the chance for fire damage. Easily get 1.5 million, probably 1. Point, uh, probably really actually a pretty good one for that one, but we'll post it at 1.5. Expedient Reinforcement, another decent one. It's a decent one. We'll post that just 1 million. Executioner's contract, not great. Uh, that's a low ice minstrel torment chance. For, I forgot that slow could turn into this. I should have checked my other ice minstrels because the cold damage one is very popular and it does move. So again, the more you know, the, the more efficiently you can do this. Impervium armor, another really good one. Just a little slow moving there. So if you want to move, you got to go. You got to go on the low side of that. Remember, the lower you go, the more likely you are to sell it first, because of the way the, the bidding auction works. The bid in the auction works. That one's not great. And then that one's moving really well. So good volume on that one. We'll go ahead and post that. We'll reroll these last four. We'll check these. Trap of the Hunter. Stinketh. So that one stinketh. Chance for Obliteration Damage. Oh, what a great one. That's a good, good roll. I think that one just sold right away. And Power Transfer here. Mm, well, no, we're going to do better than that. A uh, couple of holds here. Not usual. Well, dude, this hold's not doing too bad with 1,200 for sale. Um, hmm. We'll get a little above a million, million for it. Let's see this one here. I just like the fact they had so many people bidding on it. Uh, bonus resistant bonus or for pets. I buy this from Mastermind, so this is a good set. We'll close that 1.5 million. And then we'll see if we can get something good out of this last one. Can't remember if uh, Impervium Psionic Resistance. That's a great one right there, boys and girls. 2.5 million easily. All right. So well, how much time is on the clock? It is It is almost 20 minutes in the video. So that took about five to six minutes, right? 
and out of 10 of those, uh, I usually walk away. I did, I did 60 of these earlier in the week. And out of those 60s, I walked away with 100 million in profit out of 60. So on the average, these things make me over a million each on the average. There's some that I only make a little bit off of, some that I make a lot off of. I don't keep track piece by piece. But for every 10 of these I do, I make at least 10 million in profit. 10 million in profit in six minutes is not a bad deal. Uh, I, I feel like that might even give farmers a run for their money. It is a little boring, it is a little monotonous, and so I don't sit here and do it for hours. But it can be fun to do. So uh, hopefully this helps some of you to understand how I do this fast and efficiently. Again, watch the prior videos for more of a step-by-step. -step. And if you have questions, hit me up in the comments below or come join our Discord server and introduce yourself and, and you can ask me your questions. You can always friend me, global friend me at Wildlight. I'm always happy to have friends. Uh, and for now, I'll just let these sit here for a little bit. But you can see I've already got uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight million uh, in here, which will cover my converters. Because, uh, yeah. So anyways, thank you guys so much. I'll be doing another video here shortly. So I hope, uh, hope you're having a great week and hope you're enjoying some City Heroes. And I'll see you next time.